Hey people, it's tutorial number 40, Going 3D Part 3. When, boy if I can just get to the right window here. When we last left off we had made this super cool um, video player here and I hate to always start with uh, just uh, the same things going on but here we were, we were playing some chickens, we had our BART world rendering here it is. Bart rendering doesn't know what to do yet because um, it hasn't uh, got its uh, chicken texture selected yet. I have turned it all off, fallen asleep, and woken back up. So here we are with the chicken texture back on. It's running. And um, oh, we had also uh, played with some light, but we're tired of that now. Um, also, we had chili peppers to choose from. There they are. Texture chicken. Oh, and it was, this is a plane. We can make it a sphere. Um, we can pull back from that sphere a little bit so we can look at it. And there's a nice view of our chicken friends walking around the sphere. So this has all been going great, but as always, we are just dying to learn more and to push it further. So we're going to stick Bart up in the corner there. And um, what we're going to do is try to import a little bit of sound um, using catch, which we've done before. And um, then we're going to um, offload the grid shape rendering that we have here to another object and uh, I'll get to that in a minute. So let's um, first let's get some sound going in here. So we'll go over here um, I'm gonna unlock the patcher uh, get jongly in here because it's got a good strong beat to it and then um, we'll put a, uh, a live gain on it. You can type in L for that and type in live gain there. And we'll put this on there. And then um, oop. And then we'll need what? An easy deck here. Well, we don't really need the easy deck to tell you the truth, but we may as well be able to listen to it, right? So easy deck. There it is. Connect that up. Sorry, I start to go fast now. Um, <laughs> faster than I usually go, I mean, um, uh, because I know you're all used to this stuff now. So um, I'm just uh, going to then we're going to take the sound coming out of here and we're going to run it into a JIT type J catch and it's going to be um, how big do we need it here? Um, I'm going to just take a guess and we'll say at a uh, frame size, you see it pop up there. I'll just, I'll be lazy. At frame size, uh, 400 should do. And then we'll um, connect our outputs of Jongly to JitCatch. And that way we'll be able to turn it up and down. So, uh, and we'll put a little P window here. Here we go. Jit, P, Oops. <laughs> I got more than I expected. I typed the J, got the JIT thing, and then I typed IT. So here we go, P window. Get a little P window there. Let me see this come in. And let's just check it out and make sure it works. Oh yeah, working. Um, oh, of course. Uh, a, we don't have the loop on. That's good because we don't have to listen to it a million times. But uh, you have to remember that... Uh, JITCATCH won't output anything unless you have a metro telling it to. So we'll just type a Q metro. Remember the Q metro when you're dealing with jitter stuff. 
or uh, nothing happens because the other metro is too polite. Or this is my understanding of it, of course. And then uh, toggle right up on top there. Let's try that again. We'll turn the loop on. We'll turn the metro on. And there we go. So we get a, we get a pretty good reading out of here on the shit cat check on it. So turn that down. And uh, actually, um, we can connect JIT catch directly to Jongly, I think, because we'll have a. I'm going to unlock this. That way we can turn the sound down and uh, not drive ourselves absolutely bonkers while we still get all the good video. So let's just connect it straight up there. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Going beautifully. Okay. For the moment, let's shut this off because we have we have some work to do down here what we're gonna do is actually um, let's let's take uh, all of this and duplicate it and you'll see why in a minute so just trust me on this we'll just pick all this stuff we don't need the texture chicken there Eh, we can do texture chicken too all of it what the heck um, and we're gonna duplicate it and bring it down here. And then what we're going to do here is say instead of grid shape, we're going to type in here jit.gl mesh. And it doing more or less the same thing, except uh, we'll change the chicken, <laughs> change the texture to chicken soon. Um, and um, I guess we can erase the at shape plane too because the uh, grid shape is going to supply that. But up here, what we're going to do is get rid of the grid shape um, description after Bart. Just going to chuck it. Well, actually, we can leave the smooth shading. Let's leave the smooth shading so it works nicely. Um, and also the texture. Why? Because we're sending the texture down to the JIT mesh now. We're having JIT GL grid shape supply the shape to JIT GL mesh. Does that sound crazy? It shouldn't. But so what we're going to do then, since this is no longer intercepting the um, uh, since this isn't going to just transmit directly up to the JIT world BART, um, we can uh, have it, what we want it to do is um, go down here and say matrix output. That's what we want it to do, and we want to turn that on. So now, uh, did you see that blink out? Um, now what JIT grid shape is doing is sending its grid out the bottom of out this outlet instead of just transmitting it to BART. And that's just so we can stop things from rendering over top of each other. All right, so let's come in here and we're going to make our old friend xfade. So type a J, whoops, unlock your patcher, type a J, and then X fade, and uh, that should do that. And of course, we'll have to tell it how to. Uh, we need to give it a message, um, and the message is X fade. And the rest of the message is string one, and then we'll put a uh, a float here. So the float will go from zero to one. I'm just sticking this out here because I it's so hard to keep track of all this stuff when it's so close. Um, whoops. There we go. I'm going to just straighten that out with a little command Y. And now the JIT grid shape 
is going to come right in this left hand inlet and then go down to JIT, glmesh.bart. And as you can see, it immediately put the peppers up here because it's at texture chili. Fantastic. But what we're going to do is come up here and get JIT catches output and run it in the right hand side. So JIT catch is going to be sending out uh, matrices full of numbers as well and the grid shape is too and XFade is going to combine them together as best it can and so we'll get a grid shape coming down here that's going to have sort of pulsing numbers from the music or such is the hope. We always like to hope. So um, let's just uh, lock our patcher here and turn on Jongly. And we see it running. And we've got our, our peppers here. Sweet peppers, but I doubt they're sweet. So there we go. We can get a good look at them. So let's try turning the X fade up and just seeing... Oh my goodness, it works so well I almost can't stand it. Look at that. They're just wiggling all around. So, um, one can imagine then if uh, one one... <laughs> wow! Fabulous! Fabulous! Um, and uh, here we're going to go to a plane because that's the sort of thing people deal with a lot with music, you know. So there's our peppers. They're almost dancing. I like it. Now, there, look at those dancing peppers. But, you say, but, those are just, uh, those used to be peppers that were just staying still. What about chickens? Well, let's go ahead and uh, change the texture to chicken. Yeah. Hey, chickens. And um, let's change the shape to something a little more fun. Say a sphere. And now let's discover something. I, I just want to point this out. That's with point z <coughs> zero 0.04 on the X fade. So just a little tiny bit of change. Let's uh, see what happens when we turn it up. Oh, yeah. Go chickens. I mean, or jongly. Go chickens and jongly. That is pretty exciting. I'm at 52 now. Let's just, uh, we may as well find out what a full onslaught will do. You can barely even look at it. Let's try a different shape, see if it's better. Um, like a, a cube. Here's a cube doing its thing. It's really, uh, really too much for it. It's just expanding it all over the place. All right, so let's uh, turn that back down to something we can work with here. And then we have some uh, other options here, of course, in... Uh, JitGL mesh, which is you can you can um, change the draw mode of how it actually renders out its drawings. So this um, is apparently on tri grid right now. Hey, I turned my music down just to be less distracting, but there it is. Okay, so you can have a quad grid. I think this will uh, show better on a sphere, so I'm just going to change it over to a sphere. Um, you can do points. You can hardly see those points. Lines. Yeah, you can see it's uh, really deflecting these in a big way. And. Um, 
lot of strips. Hey, you know, you can explore them all. And then quads, very nice. It just is um, how it fills in the shape. And I uh, believe at the beginning, what were we at? Tri grid. There they go. So I'll uh, leave it to you to explore the rest of them. But that is uh, one way to really get the uh, get the chickens jump in there, as they say. And uh, of course, we can bring it nearer, farther away. Whoops! <laughs> I uh, positioned it right off the right off the chart there. There we go. Up, down. So that's really nice. So there we go. That is how to take some sound, turn it into video, and have it deform a shape. That's all we've got time for today. I will catch you in the next video.